Hello, my viewers. Uh, I've been getting some questions and comments as to what is a duculator. Well, it's not really just a joke. Uh, they actually exist. Here's one of them right here. I have a few others. But this one in particular is one of the most handy that you'd really want to use. Okay, here's what a duculator looks like. One of the handier things that a duculator can do is it can calculate the rectangular duct dimensions to round duct dimensions. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure your square duct and here we have 19 inches on the outside on one end and it's by 19 inches over here as well. So what we have is a 19 by 19 uh, square duct. So that square duct, however, is an inch and a half thick. So what we're really going to do is we're going to subtract 3 inches from 19 and we're going to get 16. So what we really have for the inside diameter of that 19 by 19 duct is 16 by 16 on the inside. So now let's find out what the equivalent is if we have a 16 by 16 inch duct. To do that we turn this dial right here to say, let's see, let's line up see right here that's 15, one more is 16 so let's find the 16 inch mark and um, Let's see, about right about there, I think. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think so. That's right about there. So you see that's a 16 by 16. So you see that will line up to the equivalent of the round duct to about over 17. So really you got to go to 18 inches. So that means that the same amount of duct space inside diameter is going to be about 18 inches. Now let's say, just for example, let's say our inside diameter duct was, we'll say, 20, okay, by, we'll say, 25. So we line up 20 with the 25 and that will give us the round duct diameter equivalent of about 24 inches. Now the other handy item that the duculator is good for is calculating the size of duct that your system really needs. Now to give you an example, let's say you're designing uh, a return duct to be uh, to have the friction loss, we'll say, right here, okay, of 0 0.05, just for an example. And you have a three ton air conditioning system. Okay, rule of thumb, well, every manufacturer is different, but rule of thumb is that there's 400 CFMs per ton of air. So let's say um, your CFMs are 1,200, okay, because, well, three tons, that's three times 400 is 1,200 at 0.25. See, I've already sort of adjusted the uh, deculator to that. Okay, see how you can adjust it? Um, so let me put it back to 0.05 to 1200. So what you get is just a little over 17 inches of round duct diameter. So you really got to go up one a little bit more uh, to 18. So you'd be pretty safe to run 18 inch flex uh, for your return duct in this case. Now, let's say, for example, you have a two-ton air conditioning system. You would adjust 
your air quantity CFM say to 800 because you see 400 times 2 is 800. 800 remember let's see let's adjust uh, 0.25 to 800 okay right about there that's about right for friction loss and we're getting uh, almost 15 inches so really you really need to go up to 16 inches because they really don't make 15 inch uh, round flex so go up to 16 inches and you'd be safe now every air conditioning manufacturer is a little bit different on the design friction loss and the amount of CFMs there are per ton so you have to find out from their specs and use this duculator but generally speaking you'd be pretty safe on the return side anyway to go with 0 0.05 the supply is a little bit different when calculating the supply duct still always go with manufacturer specifications but rule of thumb is you can go with a 0.1 for the friction loss and still 400 CFMs uh, per ton so at 0.1 let's see we'll line this up to say a two and a half ton air conditioning system that would be a thousand CFMs at 0.1 and that would line up the round duct diameter to be about 14 inches and that would be what you would need off of from the plenum